As I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna try to kill him off the roof. There's like six. I'll make this quick since this video is way better than part one. It all started on wipe day, and my main goal was to get BPs. Pretty boring I know, but along the way, I was introduced to my enemies on the server. I kept dying over and over again by a guy named Zfaro on day 1 and 2. Then I finally killed him for the first time, and he messaged me raid threats. So long story short, he was enemy number 1. Next was a zerg that lived not too far from my base. It was my own mistake by killing them too much, and I also killed one of them right outside of my base. But their kits were too free not to take, so as expected, they raided me and left me with nothing besides my decoy base. I was also getting BPs throughout those first 3 days, but nobody cares about that. Now that we're all caught up on day 4, make sure you watch the video all the way through, because there's a lot of action in this one. Enjoy. Alright, just did a good amount of farming, got almost 4k sulfur. Is this the vending machine right here? Oh, goodbye, okay, Tommy's. Ooh, it is brand new. I'm buying that. This one's almost broken, but I can repair it. No problem. I'll buy two Tommy's. I'll buy this custom's good. This custom's good. Yeah, all these are good. I'll buy another Tommy. You don't matter. I'm gonna buy a Hazzy. Buy two hazies. And then we got 750 left. I gotta buy another custom. Alright. Pretty solid. Should have brought ammo so I can actually use it when I go home. Let's go. We are loaded now. Five customs and three times. Off of just farming on the way there. As of right now, those guns I bought and the roleplay base I went into is all I have to my name. So I went to go chop some trees when I ran into a little PvP. Those guys are loaded. I'm gonna go back there to try to pick up any of the scraps too, because that guy had an M9 pistol that I kind of want somewhere on the ground. <clears throat> I think they came back and looted the rest of it. I can't find it. I needed a red card to hit the top of launch. So I did the puzzle at airfield, and then I noticed that the Zerg right next to me had a huge hole in their compound walls. All right, let's see what we got. Looks so like maybe one of the outer TCs got blown into. Oh yeah, wait, they got hit. Wow, I can't believe they got raided. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of solved my problem. You didn't leave a single thing. Oh, has he? Take that. I wonder if it was an online or not. Probably the best part about them being raided is that uh, now I could stay in the area where I was. Better, yeah, I might be able to make a bigger base like right over here on the water. After finding out the good news, I went on a few farm runs to start progressing again. I'm not gonna lie, I've been going crazy with the farming. That's almost two rows of sulfur on top of 3k in here and 3k in here. 
I think my new plan now that M11 is gone is that I'm gonna build a nice little base right down here, right down there. And I'm gonna look for like a cool like solo base on YouTube. I don't know what I'm gonna build yet, but it's gonna be like something for a solo player. And also before I get off, I'm gonna try to put a wood compound around it. So that would be my goal for today. But before I finish this wipe, I 100% want to raid somebody. And I don't know who it's gonna be yet, but somebody's getting raided. There's also a Chinook Crate airfield right now. And I haven't really PvP'd all day, so I think I'm gonna go over there. The Chinook Crate disappeared as I was running over there, so I went on a roam instead. to four layers. Furnaces are going. Probably get out of here if they're on. And then Naked brought me a jackhammer. And some farm. This dude has a jackhammer behind me. He's making a big mistake. made a big mistake. I don't know why he did it. Yo, where you live at, bro? Where you live, bro? See that big fat race over there? Yeah, dude, we'll raid you. Where you live, bro? Dude, I will bag check the fuck out of you. Don't you worry. L7. I'll find where you live. L7. Come raid. L7? It's Faro's base. Later on in the day, those nakeds that live in that big base end up getting raided. So they aren't important to the story. But I figured I'd just throw it into the video. After depoting the farm, I hit the top of launch hoping to find Boom. Ooh, a launcher. Let's go. It's huge. It was a very solid launch run. Two SMG bodies, a launcher, ice pick, high qual, got a hollow too, and a military, two AK bodies and a revolver. Now that I had a good amount of farm, it was time to get a new base down. I'll put the link of the base design in the description. Credits. kids were so bad, I just couldn't kill the full metal. Alright guys, after a lot of uh, off-camera farming, well it wasn't that much, but I mean, I farmed like a box of stone, box and a half of stone for the base, and the base still isn't even done yet, uh, and the roof isn't even finished. I also want to do these walls, 
on the sides. I don't know how much they're gonna help, but if I have a door here and I have walls above these, uh, it could be like, you know, a little china wall, nothing too crazy. But after like one trip to Outpost with a inventory of stone, I was able to get a compound down. Wood is pretty easy to get. Also, I know you guys always ask what base design uh, I build. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And the guy only has like 400 subs, so you should check him out. Anyway, you come in and then there's a loot room here, a loot room here. It's very similar to the first base I had before I got raided. Uh, down here is the TC. I was already able to armor it because I had 100 high qual sitting around, so I figured I shouldn't waste stone. I should just upgrade it right to high qual. The one difference between this base and my old base is usually I'd have a jump up like right here or I'd have a jump up right here even, but instead the jump up's in the honeycomb. Uh, in this triangle to go up and then in the video he has these uh, as bedrooms because it was like a solo duo base but since I'm by myself I guess I'll just use one for a bedroom and another one for more loot storage and then you come up here and I'll probably have more loot storage this is where I'll keep my best loot and then here's a shooting floor I didn't finish it yet I still gotta farm more stone but we're almost there but yeah that's a base and then it's not too crazy but it'll do the only thing I don't like about this base is that it doesn't have a bunker. After building the base, I did another launch run and finally got a C4. Oh, I got C4. And Big Furnace. Hey. Then Bradley was taken at launch, so I decided to counter. Some kids took uh, Bradley. Let's see if I can counter. Not really expecting much, but you never know. Has he taught me in a dream? Also, Chinook's coming over. That could help me. Yeah, they're getting lit up. Now I'm getting lit up. They gotta be dying. Oh my god, they have to be dying. Can't really do much. I have to stay in here until Chinook leaves. And then hope they're still there. Oh my god. No! He came back? That was the same kid I was just looting. Full road sign, I'll take it. AK? Take it? Unfortunately, I tried to run away and ran right into the same zerg that kept running back after they died. 
I kitted up one more time and tried to cut them off on their way back to their base, but it was too late. I was scouting their base on a hill when a naked led me right to his dead body bag. How unlucky that was for this guy. <laughs> Just let me right through his bag of everything. Before I knew it, I had explosives and C4 researched, with a lot of farm. It was almost time for a raid, but as a solo, my options were limited. If I had a team, then the easy option would be to raid Zifaro, but their base is way too big. Then I remembered that I got offline raided the first night by a base in the top right of the map, but when I ran over there, they were already raided. So with no raid targets in mind, I didn't want to worry about who I raided, I just wanted to focus on a base that could be profitable for me. And after pretty much scouting the entire map, I found a promising raid target. Oh, they're, they're online. I hear them in there. Wouldn't be a bad raid. Two layers, too. Yeah, that's, that's a good raid target as well. Looks like a 2x3 or something. Looks very weird shaped. I hear two of them. Oh, he's on his roof now. Alright, currently I'm crafting explosive ammo. Actually, I just finished. Um, I can craft more. I don't know how much I'm going to need exactly. I'm going to go look at their base again. But I got 10 C4 and almost two and a half stacks. Not really two and a half stacks. Two stacks and 44 explo ammo. Or even have a little bit more in here. But I still have 3.3k GP. Uh, so I can make more if I need to. And I also have six tech trash so i could make three more c4 if i wanted to it's been a couple hours since i checked their base but i was finally ready to raid i had no clue if they were on or not because i never got names so my plan was to build a raid base first and then transfer the boom I don't even know what to do. Drop stems. Alright, I think that was a good trade off. Got an MP5 and another road sign kit. I dropped a couple stems and two she metal doors. The only issue with this raid target is that I saw them on earlier, but I have no clue if they're on now. And I have no clue if they're on or not because I've never even seen their names before. Like, I don't even know who lives here. So I'm just hoping it's going to be decent loot. And I think it's kind of my speed since I'm a solo. It doesn't seem too difficult to raid. And they also don't look like they have garage doors, which will help a lot. I saw double doors on their base before. I'm actually going to build a raid base on this rock. All the rocks are in my way. I'm gonna have to place the TC right in the middle. I left the door open. It might be on. And there's a drop right here. Oh, well, I got nothing on me. I mean, I'd hate to lose this kit, but I don't think I will. I'll try to go for the drop, why not? Could get another C4 out of it real quick. Did he clean him up? Please tell me he did. Yeah, he did. Free. C4, I knew it. I'll leave everything else. Take the gears. Yeah, nothing good on him. Alright, I'm out of here. 
a C4 and a whole Rotan kit. And this guy had a flashlight. Yeah, I need to put that on just in case it turns night during the raid. Okay, we've got 11 C4 now. Plenty of X-Flow, five ladders. Now all I need is a safe trip over there. Alright, I made it. Now I'm gonna try to see if I can build over this first wall. Because even though I could blow it, if I could just build right here and build right over, I might as well do it because that'll prevent uh, any counters. I won't have to worry about them sneaking up on me. I'll definitely hear them run in or jump, uh, jump over. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh. it's the same kid. It's the same kid I killed the airdrop, pretty sure. Hopefully he's not too much of a problem. Because unless he lives here, I don't think the guys I'm raiding are on. I'd hate for him to be uh, F11. Alright, I can easily jump over that, so I'm gonna just grab the boom real quick before that guy comes back. Alright, let's figure out how we're gonna do this. I think I wanna go through their roof, or at least wanna check it since the door is open. Not seeing any turrets, which is good. But it does look like I'm gonna have to blow one wall to get there. So it looks like this door goes to the other entrance. And this leads to something. And this goes all the way down. Oh no, he's got a bunch of rocks. Hopefully they don't... Hopefully they actually have some loot. Alright, I'm just gonna keep going right down. I'll try to get TC first. Seal up the base and then blow everything else. Yeah, here we go. Just an inventory of rocks. Don't tell me these kids are gonna be broke. Hopefully that breaks it. Another one. Oh, the room's open. Bro. Uh, Jack Hammer, I'll take it. A little bit of road sign, I'll actually take that too. Ooh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Comms, AK. Turret? Oh, 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 okay. This isn't bad. Let me keep going. Hold on now. This isn't bad. Let's see if they have farm. I think I just broke... I think I just broke stuff on the second floor. Did this wall not break? What just happened? Did I not just blow this wall? Did it do no damage?
Why is this wall indestructible? I just threw two C4 at it, and now everything's decaying. I guess I have to use this. PC. Not bad. Wait, let me make a door. I really don't like how I have to use 2C4 right there, but it's whatever, I guess. It's alright. I'm just happy we got TC now. And now we can continue the raid without worrying too much. I'm gonna have to make some crates for these, uh, for this stuff. Alright, now that I got everything in these crates, time to continue the raid. I'm gonna use more Explo ammo because I don't trust C4s now. Farm. And we're gonna take the PC loot. Okay, some charcoal. Green cards, I need those. Some wood. Okay, not bad, not bad. And it goes up here. There's a sleeping body here, and I saw crates break, so I kinda have to get there quick. T3. Ooh. Okay. They all got rocks on them. A little bit of sulfur. A little bit of metal. Okay. Oh, the GP. That 3K. Solid. More charcoal. Fresh and bolty too, it's nice. Not bad. Alright, this was actually pretty good. Very useful loot. I need to make more crates. This might be some type of secret loot room. Or like a bedroom or something. I mean, I could soft side it. Save myself some boom. That would be the right thing to do. I can't believe they leave the doors open. <laughs> one I'll just uh, see for it why not nothing okay so far the raid was pretty good and I had to I was able to save 2c4 because they left two doors open so it's all good I'll just uh, soft side this little loot room and then transfer the loot and we'll be good It leads to another door. Now my guess is that there's nothing behind that door. I think they were kind of just using the doors as like a honeycomb. So you can't really like go all the way around the outer shell honeycomb. But obviously I don't know for sure. I think I got all their loot though. I mean, it would make sense for them to have it in the core. And nothing really on the outside uh, honeycomb anyway. So I think I'm going to call it there and uh start bringing everything home two sacks of explo and eight c4 i think that was pretty worth it i also got a level three that i could sell in a vending machine for scrap after a successful raid i transferred the loot and got off for the night so it's the day after the raid and i got on around 9 30 to check if i was raided and i wasn't so i went back to bed till like 12 and i come back and i'm raided partially they got into this loot room they got into this loot room, which didn't have anything. Pretty sure this didn't have much either in here. And then they blew through the front door and an armored wall and got TC and got all my wood. But luckily they didn't get anything else. 
a new base that popped up right here. And then there's another new base on the hill up there. But I guess first thing I got to do is figure out how to disconnect the outer TCs. All right, both the decoy bases are still good. So let me just figure out how to uh, get a new TC in the base, patch it up, and then we'll be good. Alright, I'm gone. I made the play and I'm gone. Let's go. Two Tommies and three MP5s. Let's go. A real tank kit and two Hazzies too. Perfect. Alright, after organizing all my loot, I got some pretty good stuff for being a solo so far. Box of wood, nothing really in there tools I gotta get more farm but decent comps I'm gonna recycle all these comps down here and then up here uh, I got prim guns hazies uh, kits and a decent amount box of guns LR AK Tommies and MP5s some ammo nothing in there some charcoal, a box of stims, and I still have close to a row GP and three C4, so I could definitely hit somebody else. But I think my main goal is to try to get online rated, and I don't really care who it's by, but I just want to get online rated with this uh, base, and then just try my best to defend. The next big thing I wanted to do as a solo was take Bradley. Alright, I'm kind of going all out for this Bradley take. Here we go. Okay, that's not good. All right, it's out. Got an extra HV if I need it. Hopefully I don't need to use it, but if there's like too many people, I mean, I might have to use it, I'm not gonna lie. The thing I'm worried about though is people being able to sneak up because I can't really watch both uh, entrances. I feel like there's no way I don't get countered though. The only advantage I have is that most people coming into this will probably think there's more than one person. So I can at least like play a little slow. See two crates, I'm guessing one is on the other side. I'm not gonna push the crates until all three are out. Oh no. Oh, not the best gear. Hey man, I 
have nothing. Please don't do this to me. Please. Hey, you're a fucking bitch. Alright, I'm out of here. Those crates were terrible. I was really looking for an M2 so I could take Heli. As a solo, I'll take it. Can't complain. Kids had 16 satchels, wow. It's kind of fire. I just took a small break, so now Bradley should be respawned, so I'm gonna try to take it again. I really just wanted M2 so I could try to take Heli. But if I die here and lose my launcher, then I probably can't take Bradley again until I get uh, my other launcher researched. It's out. No. No. Dang, that was a bad play. I headshot him and everything. They're definitely gonna get the crates too. The only thing I could try is cutting them off. I don't even know where they live. And it was Zifaro.
I'm so confused what happened. Zfaro killed me in the back with an AR. There was a dude camping up top that was full metal Tommy. Zfaro died to Hutch. Okay, so Zfaro died with the AK. After killing me. And then Hutch was the guy that I was shooting at and he got away. Zfaro keeps coming back fast, and Zfaro is teamed with that whole Holly guy, that whole guy that killed me. Pretty sure that guy ran with all my loot, and probably the Bradley crates. Slay 10k, that's what you get kid. I hope he door camps me when I get home too. That's my neighbor if you don't know. I'm not really mad about losing the Bradley loot, especially the fact that I don't know if it was an M2. If I knew it was an M2, I might be a little upset, but everything else from Bradley is usually not good at all, so I'm not really mad about that. The only thing I am a little upset about is the AK, the Bolty, and the Launcher. Even the roadside kit wasn't that bad to lose. I should have never pushed up that far, but overall it was a good attempt. About an hour went by until I got a party invite from Travosky and Jose. They played on the server for the first couple of days and then got offline raided so they were just starting up again. They got into some beef with people they built right next to, and before they knew it, they were getting raided again. And they only had a few guns to defend themselves, so I was pretty much their only hope. Do they even have a raid base or anything? Nah, they, they're like our next door neighbors. I didn't see you, hold on. They did. They sealed? No, they're oh no, they didn't. Either. Two dead. One more. Yes, sir. Dead. dead. Yes, sir. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Yeah, has he outside front door? I'm dead. One more. He's dead too, though. No, no, oh, one that more. Was you that has it. Oh fuck! What was Vosky? Oh, because I See, fucking back. had a custom from when we went out. Oops. Hit him four times. Nice. I think I'm behind you. I tripled one, but... Okay. Where behind this wood wall? To the right somewhere. Oh, I see. I see the dead body. If you could... Stay alive. I killed him. I killed him. I died, though. I got a gun. I killed him, I died. Picking you. He's gonna get two more though. Yeah, they're coming. You're up, you're up, you're up, you're up. I don't have much ammo though. Is that you, MP5? Yeah. Dead. Nice. Yes, this kid had so much loot. Yo, pick, back. Yeah, yeah. pick up that up. They're coming back out. Who's your, is it's that me, you? It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Yeah. Alright, killed three. Maybe one of them got in the base already or he's over here still. They didn't have loot. They sealed. They put a fucking wood door on. Yeah, yeah, boost me up to this other one. Yeah, yeah, we can get in the back side. Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, he's pushing that. Here, I'll push that. Oh, he's just here. Get him. Yeah, go, 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 go. 
Oh, you fried. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So lit. He's trapped over there. He's trapped over there. Nice. Yeah, 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 try to see a There's another there. one coming from the outside. I hear him. You pick me, pick me. Start out an AK, thank you. Pick me, pick me. Yeah, Yo, you're slaughtering these fucks. <laughs> Holy fuck. Let's go. Cool. Your RP5 is right behind you. Did you loot that game? Holy fuck, <laughs> bro. Fucking go. Fucking go. Yo, and we got something. Yo, Mike, you're a fucking king goat, bro. Holy fuck. Bro. Oh, no. No. It's oh, they, 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 didn't they didn't take him. They didn't take him. They fucking retired. Yo. Wait, wait. We can just close this. They can't get in there. Yo, no, no, no. Can no, you get no, TC or no? Can you get oh, TC's right here. They unlocked it. Yeah, yeah TC's right here. Uh, block, yeah, yeah. Up, block up the wood wall. Um, or block up this, this front for yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I did not hear that. Easy. Oh. He had a Tommy too. Two nades on his body. Should pick those up. Uh, I can't get that. I can't get that door through here. Oh my god. Yo, this clip has to go on TikTok or something. At least. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Just your. I'm Devin, I got a whole inventory. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, we need to fix this place up a little bit. Bro couldn't even put a hazzy on. Came out naked, AK. Dude, that would have been so fire if you could throw that in the video. I mean, I might. I mean, like, cause like, so, like yeah, I'm game. still solo. I just teamed with you for a yeah, second and didn't take your shit. After saving their base, I did a recycle run and bought a low grade at outpost. All right, that was a scary outpost run, but I'm almost home with the good stuff. Oh, and I just crafted another TC by accident. Now I can craft more stims because I actually had no low grade left. I was ready to get off for the night until I noticed all of my neighbors online. Unfortunately, it's looking like my neighbors are multiplying. I just seen about four of them. One, two, three right there, and then one just went into this building. And all their bases are getting pretty big. Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice. It's Beetlejuice. Or Beetlejuice is his name. His name's Beetlejuice. It's up to you, I think. He's on the game a lot. He can't like, hit me. Here. Dude literally got raided and built up again. So, it's up to you. I think he's loaded. This, this, I don't know. literally might be less As than 20 rockets. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah, hey, listen, wait, real I'll quick, though. He keeps his loot. I'm pretty sure he keeps his loot on, like, the second floor. That's what, what someone that like, raided him said. I don't know if that's true. Just, yeah, it is. Deep in MP's base. Nice base, dude. Nice base.
go. Just got a couple of guns, some nice sulfur, and I was able to break his level too. I was able to get in and out of my neighbor's base with some pretty good loot, and after this, I ran past Zifaro's base and noticed it was raided. I never knew about it because they never quit the server, so I just assumed they'd never been raided. But now it was my chance to raid them before they rebuilt too big. I first needed to find their new base. Hey, case shots right here. I'm still looking for Faro's base. Could be him right up here. Kinda almost went around the whole map. No way. It's them. It's them. Found their base. Bottom left of J8. Yep, makes perfect sense considering uh, they kept getting back to launch the vest. After searching the entire map, I heard some shooting and luckily found Faro's new base. On top of that, once I killed him, I got another raid threatening message. I wanted to raid them so bad after this, but I had to stop playing to edit my Broken Alliance video. So I AFK'd in the base for hours, and then all of a sudden, raiders showed up. Oh shit, I'm getting raided. How you feel about the bang? You like the bang? You like the bang? I love the bang. I love the bang. Oh my God! No way. It's Zfaro. Okay. I got a turret too. Shit.
Oh shit. I think I won. I think I won. <laughs> CPS, why, Mr. Sweat? How did he even get in here? Did he just jump over? Oh, there's far. <laughs> I don't know if they didn't bring enough HVs or what, but they just couldn't get past my turrets. GG's. Bro, I got so much loot. I got one box, and then I got another box full. And I got all this, all these clothes. I got everything downstairs, and I got so much loot. Time to do some quick repairs. Make sure the base is good. How many rockets did I get? Four rockets and seven C4. Oh my god. That C4 is so nice. Wait, was there any in the launcher? Oh yeah, I have one in the launcher. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's go. That's, that's in the chat. We fucking suck. We fucking suck. We fucking suck, alright? Alright, so I don't need to hear it. I mean. Don't. Don't even say anything, bro. Just don't. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> we're, we're talking. This is literally what I could say. Alright. Alright. I, I feel like what? I only killed one or two of you. Did, did you guys out of the turrets? Is that what it was? It's because those fucking turrets! Yeah. I figured. <laughs> Well, after a long wipe, I was pretty happy with everything I've accomplished as a solo. I made a Zerg mad enough to raid me in part 1, I pulled off a solid raid on my own, I took Bradley twice, and now I just won a 1v4 raid defense against my main enemies on the server. After I patched up the base, I joined Zfaro's party, because he wasn't being toxic in game chat. They were all pretty cool, but they wanted me to online raid them back as a solo, and if I did that, I'd be setting myself up for failure. So with the solo series officially being over, I invited Travosky and Jose to merge with me in my base. We went on one farm run as a trio and ended up dying to Novel's group, which is the same group that raided Ruger's Zerg base in the beginning of the video. They knew where I lived this entire time, but they never raided me because I was solo, and I respected them a lot for that. But as soon as they found out I wasn't solo anymore, it took them 20 minutes to show up to my base. Take a peek outside, huh? Yeah. Here oh. they are! Holy shit, is that... That's the G11. 
you know, we're getting ready to right now. Heavy I'm verse. Gonna put the we try to kill him off the roof. There's like six. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. This is not good, yeah. dude. Yeah, this is gonna be. Let's go out the back right now. Come here. Go out the back. Quick. Can't, can't close. If we kill one of the rockets, we, we should try to loot and get inside quick. No! Oh my god, I don't have a bag inside. No fucking way. Oh no. No fucking way. You gotta get a harvest no man. I, I kinda did. This isn't good. There's so many. Oh my god. Fuck. You could find some cloth, try to get a bag down for me. But yeah, I understand if you're in the heat of the battle. Bag you better five minutes. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of close. Go we'll Nice. I think there's some grubs back. Oh, I see a, I see a body. Fuck. I grub Varro's kit. I got it. Shot him three times. How do you kill me? Are they doing this? One. I don't know if they have a raid base. Sir. I'm dead now.
Hello naked's outside. Fuck, I wish I could get in the back. Kill two. Should be able to respawn. Kill three. No, oh my god. I'm good. I almost killed four. I'm There's just so many. Try to HP. They were blowing up, I don't know if they got to the loo yet. They haven't got to the loo yet, that's for sure. I just hit him with it. Just kill me immediately. They gotta be weak, what the fuck, I just hit them. They're dead. I had like yeah, three more, dead. There's more HVs dead. too. There's more HVs. Alright, hell is C4, holy shit. Is that satchels? Oh, they might have got my satchels. We need a grow to make some type of play. Oh, I just got a launcher with a, a rocket in it. Sir. Off the ground. Sir. No! It wouldn't it wouldn't lo it wouldn't zoom in, bro. It was spamming it. It happened to you. Oh my god, that's annoying. He's already on the top floor. Hey. One's dead. Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, oh my bag's gone. Oh, and just like that, our plans to give Zifaro an online raid was over. Travoski wasn't on, and Jose didn't even have a bag in the base, so it was pretty much a 1v6. Overall, I had a really fun time playing solo, and I don't think I'll be playing in a bigger group for a while, because it makes the Rust experience a lot more fun and rewarding when you succeed. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please drop a like below and subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.